there's a point when the bullshit keeps happening to you over and over again. And you just have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, nigga, it's you. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost, what's up party people? I so, yeah. It seems like every time Cat Williams comes in contact with the police, it's bad and for him. Even if Cat Williams was to call the police, because he needed the police, it's like the police would show up and he would get all the smoke. Anyway, so let's just talk about this particular situation. It kind of, in my opinion, might also... I have another situation that he was involved in in the peripheral. But let's get to this situation. For everybody that knows, there's a, um, you know, Wild and Out. Yeah, anyway, so I believe Wild and Out was supposed to be at the Motor Center over in Oregon and Portland. And basically what happened was Cat Williams needed to get to the, get, get to the arena. He, he had to get to the, Wait, if it's called the Motor Center, do we still call it an arena or do we call it a center? Anyway, that's not the point. So, Cat Williams had to get there. And therefore, he had to call a driver because, you know, you can't take your car on the plane with you. So, he called a driver. So, when the driver gets there, the driver, for whatever the reason is, has, you know, problem with Cat Williams bringing his dog with him. That's kind of odd. I mean... I don't know. Whatever, nigga. So, he has a problem with Cat Williams bringing the dog with him. So, him... Cat Williams and a driver get into an altercation. During this altercation, I'm guessing that there's some physicalities exchanged because what they're saying is, is that the victim, who is the driver, suffered minor injuries to the face, including swelling and cuts that required some kind of treatment at the hospital, but I'm guessing not much. They must have just gave him like one of them, one of those uh, Tom and Jerry band-aids, you know, the ones that look like the X. <laughs> And then they kind of like just maybe sent them all this way. I mean, it's Cat Williams, yo. Anyway, so whatever happens, happens. And Cat Williams ends up getting arrested due to this. I think that they said he actually went to the event first. I'm not 100% sure about this. But I think they're saying that he actually went to the event first. And then he didn't perform and then was later arrested. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know. But that's what it seems like the information might be. Anyway, so the police arrested him. They booked him on misdemeanor assault. That was on Saturday. The event was on Friday. The incident happened on Friday, I believe. And on Saturday, he was arrested and his bail was set at 2500 Now, with all of that smack he was talking the other day in Atlanta, if he can't make $2,500 bail, yeah, what now? Anyway, so the police still might be holding him. Why? Because he has an outstanding warrant. Where's the outstanding warrant from? Atlanta. He has an outstanding warrant, it may seem, in Atlanta. I'm not 100% sure why, but I'm guessing that he might be in trouble due to the situation that happened on the talk show where he was allegedly chased with a gun. Who knows? I have no idea. But um, look, man, Cat Williams just gets in trouble. I, I don't know what to say about it. I, like, you know, usually when you got a short guy, they be like, oh, man, that guy got a little man complex. And then it always seems like he's on edge. People don't understand. Like, I'm not saying that that uh, Cat Williams has mental health issues. I have no idea. I would assume that all comedians have some level of mental health. <laughs> I would assume that all comedians on some level have mental health issues. But, yo, who am I to say? Anyway, so Cat Williams obviously blew a gasket because he couldn't take his dog with him in the in the on, in the um car. The driver decided that he wasn't gonna take it. Then to compound that, they get into a physical altercation. 
Then to compound that, he ends up getting arrested. Then to compound that, he gets bell set. That isn't that high. I'm pretty sure he could be able to make that. Then to compound that, now they're talking about he has an open war in Atlanta. So I don't know what to say on this. Um, for everybody that don't know exactly what happened with the Atlanta situation, that's when he went on Shirley of Atlanta? Wendy of Atlanta? I don't know what that lady's name is. But he went on some lady of Atlanta show. Or in Atlanta. I don't even know the name of the damn show. I ain't gonna lie to you. Anyway, so he went on the show. And while he was on the show, he got into like some kind of exchange with Homegirl. And to be honest with you, she's supposed to be a comedian. So she tried to like flame him back with, with I don't know. You know how they have dad jokes? Okay, I used to date this woman, right? She was dope as shit, right? But she had like the worst jokes. She, I don't know. She, like she told knock knock jokes that was like terrible. Like you laughed because it was like, how can anybody think that this is funnies? Like that was the reason why you laughed. But it cracked her up, so I loved it. But the point is, is that this lady told jokes on par like that at Cat Williams, like she was flaming them, and then she laughed. Look, you can't. Only person that could be their own laugh track. Is Kevin Hart. Everybody else, you got to actually say funny shit. I'm just saying. These are facts. So, after, you know, she get into the exchange with Cat Williams situation, Cat Williams goes to the... Cat Williams goes to the... Cat Williams goes to the show that they're supposed to be having, the comedy show. It was uh, It happened on a Friday. Cat Williams goes on a Saturday and on a Friday, but on a Saturday, she just happened to be there with her husband and her sons. They end up drawing down on Cat Williams with some shit. I don't know. I think the fat nigga didn't maybe even pull the gun out on him. He was just running and the shit was in his waistband and he probably like had too much, like, I don't know, mayonnaise or, you know, uh, some other condiment on the weapon that got there because he was probably eating some sort of sandwich before he tucked it into his waistband. And the weapons ends up falling out. And then, you know, the police showed up. So then that happened. So I don't see why Cat Williams would be in trouble about that. But, you know, who knows? Maybe they're trying to say he filed a, a fake police report or because he didn't want to help the police. Who knows? I don't. So anyway, so we have this situation. Cat Williams is arrested. Um, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Seriously. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it seems like, you know, trouble follows him. And usually, when you're always on edge, it it's going to seem like that. Even when you're not the one that's initiating whatever the bullshit might be. When you walk around and you're on edge all the time, trouble will find you. I'm just saying. We got to protect ourselves, protect our minds, protect our energies, protect our spirit. We have to be mindful of the shit that's going on around us. And at the same time, while we're doing all of this shit, we have to understand that, you know, maybe I should just call another driver. <laughs> maybe this douchebag doesn't want to take my, um, my, 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 you know, a member of my family in the car with him. But I'm pretty sure that I can call somebody else and they'll be more than happy to make this money and drive me to the fucking center where I need to go, which is most likely what he did after he got into the physical altercation with the dude that caught him in the problem in the first place. Please, people, let's think before we act. Because, I, look, this is the way I look about it, right? This is the way I look at it, right? I was always taught, think like a carpenter. Measure twice, cut once. Think twice, act once. Anyway, that's all I got on this one. I want y'all to leave it down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all just think Cat Williams is a bad guy? Or is Cat Williams one of them people that don't know how to avoid the bullshit? I think he just might not know how to avoid the bullshit. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.